So this is my friend James, who happens to be the designer for every single page in the book, the comfort food book. Literally two hours ago, sent the whole book to Germany to the printers. Lock, stock and barrel? All of it. Okay, and yeah. this is it here. The whole so, thing. What was your kind of inspiration for the heart and soul of this book? The craft, I think, the sort of geekiness. I love the fact that you guys were so into the whole kind of geek side of the food. So I wanted it to be a bit kind of precious. I wanted it to feel special. I definitely wanted it to be your best of the best, your kind of... The ultimate. The ultimate, yeah. We work very hard on sort of like fonts and, and texts. And um, these are the kind of double page spreads that we were talking about earlier. You know, so every recipe pretty much has this big double page opener. And then you go in to a gorgeous, more traditional recipe like that. When you first described it to me, it was the whole recipe had to be, there was going to be more to the recipe, there was going to be more of an intro, there was going to be more of a, a conversation. So it was to give that recipe like a bit of space. You wanted to shout about it. You made the recipe, the food, the hero more than before. So you'd never give four pages to beans on toast normally, but da -da, there it is. Just have a look at that guy. That's schnitzel. So that's the opener to schnitzel, which is a big boom. Double page spread. What era and what inspiration oh, is the gosh. font? Gosh. Well, again, it's kind of dating back to the sort of keep calm, carry on vibe. You know, it's got that sort so of post retro. Warism. Yeah. I was trying to give every kind of recipe almost their own little identity within the book. That's James's favourite dish. Look at that. Because we did take fish and chips to another level, didn't yeah. we? Seriously, did yeah. Pickle time, guys. <laughs> Comfort food is about heart and soul and emotion, and I think James would agree with me. It's about sort of finding that soul. You know, and like that's just a burger, but my God, not only is that an incredible burger recipe, you know, but your whole standard of what a burger is, I mean, look at that. I think probably our last picture to look at <laughs> is this incredible beef wellington. <laughs> and that is a good one, isn't it? It is a good one. Um, but thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it uh, from me and James. Thank you. Cheers. Enjoy and cook some great food. <laughs>